Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So it's going to be about money and love. I'm going to pull a few cards and then we're going to get out of here, all right? So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a message about their money and their love. True, accurate messages. All right, let's see. Aquarius, get your own personal reading at the website level. Readings are 40%. I'll take advantage. All right, let's see. We're going to start with money. I know you came for love. We'll start with money. Six of cups, sharing your gifts. God giving gifts. Looks like whatever gifts you are sharing, um, you could be making money from it. Yeah. Um, this is the king of wands. So it's like psychic gifts, uh, psychic abilities, spirit guides, spiritual guides, spiritual gift. Something that you do from home. Unexpected money can come from this. Gain, uh, luck associated with this. Significant change. You may be getting ready to leave your job and go just into this full time. But this is what you're thinking about. Um, you're thinking about entrepreneurial endeavor. You know, how to make it work, how to make it um, flourish, grow. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius and money. It's going, okay. Uh, the death card. So going from one dynamic to the next. Maybe having it and not having it. Or not having it to having it. Having it your way, Aquarius. Um, so this is the dynamic change. It's a big monumental change. Maybe to your foundation. To your home. Um, maybe you will. Um, again, do some work from home. Let's see. What is this dynamic change happening for the Aquarius? This is severing ties with the old. This is the scythe, you know, from the death card. Uh, really severing ties with that old way of existing. Shedding skin of the old. Coming into something really, really new. This is knowledge also. Shedding skin. The snake sheds skin. The snake brings knowledge. Um the page of pentacles so it looks like whatever you're doing you're gonna do it on a consistent basis this could be the tarot the divination you could be learning the tarot you're gonna do something consistently um healthy healthy lifestyle also this could be um definitely learning oh Aquarius, your card's popping out ace of cups in the reverse some of, some of you need to listen to your intuition so you're not allowing for that knowledge to come in or that spiritual wisdom or spirituality. What is, why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Okay, the Devil card. Fear. Oh, so you're not starting this thing. So you're not initiating. So you know you want to read cards online or do Reiki healing or anything like that, but you're not starting it. But you need to start it. And some of you have already started it. You're sharing your gifts. Money is coming, coming in. You're being more consistent with what you're doing. Some of you are still in fear. Yeah, some of you are putting out some high quality work. People are looking at what you're doing. Superiors, competition. Um, it's blessed by the divine. Like you have a divinity, you know, downloading to you. They're, therefore, you know, it's working for you. Or the work you put out is uh, superb. It's um second to none it is um you coming into some self-sustaining rhythm understanding this is what you do this is your life this is how you move this is how you make money um you're going to get to a level of stability here you might go from the three of pentacles to the ten of pentacles let's see um well you go from the three of pentacles to the eight of pentacles all right so watch, rinse, repeat over and over. And the money just comes in. It's just coming in and you're just storing up and you're just working and you're learning and you're working and you're learning and you're putting out and you're manifesting here until you get to a place of where you can be hands off like in the nine of pentacles. Some of you had to take a step backwards and go back into wash, rinse, repeat, especially in your own business. It talks about a new business here in the eight of pentacles. Yep, the full card. 
you're going to let something new develop for you. Some of you need to let something new develop for you. You're having a hard time doing that. The Ace of Cups in reverse is some of you not initiating, not starting, not allowing for the new business to happen. The new business venture could be successful. Um, you're not allowing that for to happen for you in your money sector. Some of you are just, you know, you're getting to a place where you're understanding work. You know, the more work you do, the more money you make. The less work you do, the less money you make, whether it's for yourself or someone else. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't translate in any other language, whether it work for self or work for some for someone else. So that's what we have there for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius in love. What's going on for Aquarius in love? Okay, so um, not too many changes. We got the temperance card. Things are, are how they are. You know, nothing has changed. And it says if you want things to change, you have to be the change. Um, you could just be at a place where you just neutral. You know, you're in the middle in terms of a relationship. Nine of Cups. Uh, you may have found emotional stability by yourself. Um, all by yourself. Um, you, you just, you're feeling like you need, this is healing. You know, healing. Um, what else? Okay, so we had a man showing up, uh, the emperor, possibly trying to manifest you by some way or some doing. Somebody wants to apologize or make something right or change. They want things between the two of you to change. They want change to happen here. What is going on for Aquarius in love? What's going on for Aquarius in love? Okay, so the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants you to set your sights on them. Let something in. The turbulence, the trouble, the hardship them taking you for granted or you taking them for granted you being the scapegoat them gaslighting you you gaslighting them whatever somebody wants it to change let it dissipate let it go into something else they want to end a, a, a hard time between the two of you somebody wants something big to happen between the two of you marriage coming together moving in together what's going on in love for aquarius um yeah the queen of cups so you kind of you know, closed off, maybe healing your heart chakra. Four of Wands, definitely reunion here. Um, somebody could want reunion with um, a feminine energy or a feminine energy wants reunion with a masculine, whatever that may be. Um, whoever, if somebody left, they want to come back. Aquarius, if you left somebody, they want to come back. Okay, so that's what we got going there. Um, yeah, somebody wants reunion. Elope. Come together. Somebody feels like they're your twin flame or, you know, you guys need to make it work. Yeah, they may be seeking pleasure, though, with a wild card. You don't know what you're going to get with them. You know, you just don't know where that's going to go. It's a risk. It's a major risk. Yeah, the five of cups. Um, somebody wants the relationship back desperately out of regret, resentment. Uh, yeah, be, taking someone for granted, not choosing them, making the wrong choice. You now somebody wants the relationship back. Um, they can't cope with the fact of not having you in their life. They may be suffering, you know, not able to get out of the bed, um, emotional turmoil, lashing out, upset. Um... Yeah, the world card. So somebody wants things to come back full circle or they feel like they will. They always did or they always have or you used to leave but you used to come back or let things come back full circle here. Um, with the world card, what, what do they want to do? The world card talks about something major, you know, writing a new chapter here, getting married, moving in together, having a, getting the dog or a cat, uh, having a kid. I don't know. Um, so we get the Eight of Swords. So this might be somebody who needs your energy in order to thrive, in order to go up. They may be stagnant or stuck. They're waiting for your rescue, waiting for the Calvary. That is Aquarius. You are the rescue. You are the fireman. You are um, the police. You come in and rescue them. Um, that's your energy for them. Um, they also want to bind or be bound to you, okay? Um, one more card for why this person was yet yeah, ten of swords they could be dealing with some hardship in their life um 
again, they want all of the bad stuff that maybe they caused to go away. They want you to forgive. They want to move on. They want to start something new. They want the energy to transform, to go into something different. There's a rainbow on the other side of this. Um, they could be under some spell or some curse, and they want you to come and take them out of this. This is the inability to cope with the Ten of Swords, to cope with change. Something changed, you left, or something, yeah, something changed here. Let's get you some Kipper cards, Aquarius, and then close this thing on out, because you know how we can do it. We can go 45 minutes, an hour. We're not going to do it. I need to eat. Uh, let's see. Aquarius, future energy for the Aquarius for money. Future energy for the Aquarius for money. Okay, expectations. So, okay, you can only expect what is due to you, right? Or, or, or it turns into entitlement. That would be entitlement, right? But this is expectation. So you're expecting a return on the investment that you made in yourself. You're expecting money to come from the work that you've done. Expectation is coming, Aquarius. Hang in there. Hold on. It's coming. A big something is coming to you, Aquarius. Let's see. What is coming to the Aquarius in love? What's coming to the Aquarius in love? A message, a good news message, maybe an apology, maybe in seven days, someone will message you because they are imprisoned. And we saw the Eight of Swords. They want you to take them out of this place. Don't keep me here, Aquarius. Even though I manifested, because that turns into 11, I manifested this for myself. Don't keep me here. Come rescue me. If you're a prisoner, right? Um, you got to wait for somebody to come and unlock the door. So that is you, Aquarius. Again, you are the Calvary. Come rescue me from myself, from my own mental prison. Yeah, these people don't like it out in the streets and they want to come back to you. They don't like it in the community. They won't come back to you, Aquarius. This is what I have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Oh, the angel answers. Um, we had a definite no at the bottom of the deck, but I'm still shuffling. So I don't know. Some of you may tell this person no because they're not offering anything, but they want your energy. They need your energy to thrive, right? Yup. Universe says there's something better. Don't wait on this. It's something better, Aquarius. And, and you might even get your something better within the next few months. There's something better in work also. You're just going to trust the process and trust the universe and look for a sign Aquarius because they're everywhere okay the universe is trying to speak loudly to you at this time you're going to come up with a peaceful resolution for, with this person you know so that they can move on um or you guys can move on together whatever it is you want this is what i have for you if it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at the checkout. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, tonight, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.